Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tries Basketball Classics. I've been sitting here just groove into the opening cutscene. I would I would lie if I said it was for more than five minutes, but still, that's more time than I normally spend waiting to get into the main menu. Uh, this came out on Steam this week. I picked it up. It was eight-ish Canadian dollars on sale in American money. I do not know. You're gonna have to do the legwork on that one for yourself. I have not played it at all, and yet I feel a certain kinship with it. As someone who grew up playing sports video games in the 1990s. Played some of the ones that came out in the 1980s as well. Most of which they were called like tennis and then it was like just go to the pixel and press the A button. Um, I'm eager to see what's going on with this. It seems like a retro inspired arcade sports game. However with a, a robust amount of ambition. Forge a brotherhood of funk to splash trash and dunk. Finding that only the chosen shall leave the guards frozen. Spinning both ball and mind to begin your journey through time. That was unexpected. Uh, Dr. Manhattan shown up. I, as I understand it, it also has uh, the rosters of like hundreds or thousands of historical teams from basketball history. Look at that. You cannot stop him. He is free. And he's also the title screen to Mega Man 2. Spin the ball. Spin the ball. It's just that easy. He's doing it. Is this Bloodborne? <laughs> Select your challenge. LA East 1990. Boston 1985, Philadelphia 1990, LA East 1977, or Chicago 1989. It This is the Mega Man Robot Master screen, okay? Let's take on the king. Michael Jordan, although possibly they may not have actually gotten the license is my guess, but that's okay too. Scrubs versus 1989 Chicago Bulls. I'm ready. No, three minutes. If you think three minutes is fine, let's do three minutes, okay? I'm ready. How I love these moments before a big game. All the anticipation. Just remember to stick to your fundamentals, kid. It's old Dan. Let's warm up. When you're ready to get to the game, go talk to the ref and tell him you want to start. Thank you for the tutorial. Now hit a few jumpers. Make sure you pick... Make sure you jump long enough and release at the peak. You don't want to airball. Yo, it's got 2K style shooting. I have not played an NBA 2K game since literally like maybe 2K4. Oh my god. He's so good. Now pass the rock around. Look at that. Send them. Of course you need to decide who to pass to. How about the, it's good the Golden State Warriors but before this season. And then yoink. <laughs> oh nothing but net, dude. All right. Is this is this good enough? I mean, I can just keep smashing them all day. You want me to pass to him? 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 You want me to pass to the referee? What's going on here? All right, gentlemen, are we ready? I want to hit you with a quick no, just in case there's other things. Because I, I do not know how to play defense yet. All I know how to do is hit buckets. <laughs> All right, go ahead, start me, I'm ready. Okay, release your shot at the peak of your jump. You seriously increase your chances. Take it all the way, oh, tap jump, tap jump. Okay, I'm blue team, get ready. Oh, you can't beat me, I played so much London 2010. Okay, what the heck does this mean? I did a half court violation. Isolation, pick and roll, off ball pick. Okay, you're not you're not playing great defense so far. There you go. Oh, off ball pick. Okay, I, I believe we have set up <laughs> some kind of play. I'm a little confused. I'm not gonna deny that. Okay, X is jump. B is change player. I got. Oh, look at that. Okay. No, we're not running plays. Okay, we're getting possession. 
I don't know anything about basketball strategy for the record, except you sh in the in the modern day NBA, you shoot three pointers. Half court violation. That's an embarrassment. So I'm hoping isolation. What have I done? Oh, we're free. Look, I'll stop doing it when you stop letting me do it. I don't think we have a steal yet. I think all we can do... Oh, great shot. I think all we can do is uh, try to block their shot. Look, you can't just exclusively go for the three-pointer. Sometimes you got to go for a dunk. I've seen cinematics in this game. 1% chance. Bricked it. Okay, sweet stroke. I will not press a button. I want to see more tutorialization. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing pretty well so far. But I've seen like... Oh, oh, press up. Press up. I've pressed up. And I've blocked him. That's what I was just going to say. I've seen like little miniature games and cutscenes and so on. Already, I'll tell you, the story mode seems robust. I tricked him. No, did not trick him. He has blocked me in a cinematic masterpiece. Oh. Okay, I gotta be honest with you, I'm a little surprised the AI keeps making those over and back violations. Uh, no, no tricks this time. Nobody's even coming up for the block. Reverse straight, shooter high. I have to say... It's ambitious. There have been other... Oh, uh, no chance. There have been other um, retro, like, sports games that have come out. Okay. I mean, they said pass. I should have passed. It's my bad. Usually... Let's not go. Oh, I've done it. Let's go. He's the greatest player of all time. Usually, they're... Uh, authentic, almost, I would say, I'm so good, dude. But then I made an over and back violation. Usually they're authentic, like, to a fault. They're like an NES-inspired, uh, arcade hockey game. And then you're like, okay, but there's been a lot of... He's done it. He's done it. There's been a lot of innovations since the NES era that, you know, are, are a positive thing, I think, if you want to include them in your game. It seems like this is implementing... Some of them. Yo, it's the halftime dancers. <laughs> Take a break, get some nachos. How we shooting here? Pretty good. We're winning 16 to 2, which seems very solid. We're hitting... I mean, those are all basically three-pointers as well. We're four for six shooting for three, which is... Is, is pretty good, especially when you consider we're going up against one of the most stacked uh, basketball teams. Oh, but they're coming back. Send it to the shooting guard. He's ready to go. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We were a little early on that one, apparently. I thought it was good, but you know what? Maybe your shooting guard is not the, it's not the guy you want in that situation. Just harass him. Just harass him. Give him a little harassment. No, don't give Michael Jordan... The ball. You gotta, you gotta deke him. You give him an over and back. You go up. Trick him with a low. I went low. He went low too. I went up at the end. Okay, and now I get it. You, you don't have to commit. You kind of, you, you can play it on the fly. Okay, we're, we're learning. I will say, by the way, this does not have online multiplayer, um, which is like my great uh, disappointment. Nothing but net. Um, in, in all of these sports games, it seems like it's so rare for them to have online multiplayer, which I understand is like a, it's a difficult thing to implement. Now that Steam Remote Play, uh, is, is out, at least in beta, it might not be such a, uh, a big deal. 19% chance. What are you thinking? 1% chance. Well, at least you're doing better than that. That might do it, dude. It was close. Um... Now that remote play is out, you might be able to, uh, make it work. Okay, off-ball pick. If only I knew what that meant at all. Instead, here's what I'm gonna do. Pass it to the small forward. 
Shoot stat 57. Shoot stat 44. Shoot stat 59. Take it to the hole. <laughs> wow. Why don't they just shoot for three all the time? And then steal the ball and run it back, dude. Okay, that one might not have been my finest moment, but it doesn't matter. Because we have the greatest defensive team of all time. I'm unlocking... I don't know if you can see it in the bottom right, by the way. I am unlocking all sorts of achievements. Probably for being the greatest gamer the world has ever seen. 1080... Excuse me, I just did a 1080 dunk. Doesn't that qualify me for the X Games? Look, I'm not gonna say that the game's too easy, because that's, that's hubris. And we are on our first mission in story mode, which also happened to be the tutorial. That was not a good shot. But it doesn't matter, because look at this, we're going... All the way. 720 single scoop to... I didn't even get a chance to read it. It's the first game I've ever played in my life where the, the text scrolls faster than my adult brain can handle it. Alright, we won 30 to 9. But as you can tell, I am a basketball tactics expert, so I don't think the game should feel too bad about that one. So I believe this now means that we get Michael Jordan on our team. Let's get Larry Bird next. I respect that it's approaching... Um, oh, prove yourself worthy. Recruit with a victory. I respect that it's... Um, let's try a different court here. Let's go classic. I respect that it's it's basically just doing uh, the same story beats as Space Jam, but from the perspective of the Monstars. Okay, let me see. I'm I'm hoping maybe there's some defense that I missed at some point. You know, because I I still feel like on defense I haven't really gotten the tutorialization I was looking for. You can get a slam dunk pretty easily. Okay, pass it around. What happens if you if you oh are we ready? I mean if we're if we're only passing that's fine. But I was still hoping to get a little bit of a, a defensive tutorial at some point. It is what it is though. I'm ready. Player profile. You don't need to tell me that. I'm very familiar. Now you get secret here is you want to do the, the scratch ticket style. Look at that, it's not even close. Alright. Now, here's my strat. Pass it to Jordan. Look at that. 44? Might as well be 100. My mistake. Okay, now you just harass him. You gotta... It's the B defense. You just get in his, get in his face. When he goes to the hole, you go up for a block. And you block him. Look at that. No problem. We're, we're running an isolation play by accident. I have no idea what it means, but that's okay. You give it to Jordan. He drains it from the line and hits him with the T-pose. Oh, and then he steals. And, I mean, it's just... That, that's why they named the shoe after him. Is for moves like that. You know, the classic slam dunk shoe. Look at that. They can't even get out of their own zone. Get up there. Where are you, where are you going with this one, bird? He's going low, and we're smacking it out of his hands. I do appreciate... Oh, that was my bad. Fair enough. I do appreciate... A, that our time to get Michael Jordan in this game was essentially zero. I see now we got a number of moves up at the top, and we can use those moves to, to try to trick him. So there is more of a kind of a strategic gambit going on there. Just give it to Jordan, dude. Four seconds. Shoot the J. He's drained it. That's kind of, that's a neat, uh, sort of like betting game for, uh, for Slam Dunk. Most of the time, you're playing like an NBA Jam or something like that. You're just, uh, you're going up and hoping for the best. Great block. <laughs> Give it to Jordan. Give it to Jordan. He's got seven moves. Tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. <laughs> All right, another mini game. There's a chase down. I know I've said this probably incessantly at this point, but I do appreciate that uh, it adds some modern uh, conveniences to the to the 8-bit 
basketball uh, formula. It also, it, it, this is something that it's, you know... Okay, hold on. He's got he's got a lot of moves. We're going... Uh, we did it! Even with substantially less moves. You just getting... Oh my god. It's just... It, what's the point, dude? You can't defend against Michael Jordan. Who is definitely not Michael Jordan. He's just the shooting guard for the 1989 Chicago basketball team. Any similarity to persons living or dead is completely coincidental. How about one of these? Oh, 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 he's defying gravity like a song from Wicked. That's right. I'm familiar with musical theater. You got a problem? <laughs> what is this, 20 to 4? We had, we've had a monster second quarter here. In the enemy team's defense, how are you supposed to defend against Michael Jordan? All he does is, is run through the cut here. Press up and down many times and then smack it down with a 360 double fake. To other words that travel too fast for me to read them. But what I was going to say is, you know, so often in games... Oh, here we go. I think we should have been at mid-level there. That's my mistake. Um, it's like playing Nidhogg. Okay, dude... Dunking and scoring all the time, it's getting a little played out. Let's have him shoot some threes. It's the flu game all over again. Yo, 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 yeah, just keep, keep, stay on him. <laughs> Not a chance, dude. Um, it's halftime. Yo, David Bowie's here. Incredible. What I was going to say is, yes, it has a, uh, you know, retro aesthetic. But the pixel art is actually, uh, it looks really nice as well. This is not, this is, uh, you know, fake retro. Dude, how do you let Jordan just, like, fall behind you like that? Hit the fadeaway jumper because he's, he's just bored of dunking. Alright, we're not doing so hot in the defense here. Game seems to be getting a little harder. You can't stop him. Like... Literally, he's just walking in behind the defense. Is you know what in in Mega Man? There's always a boss order. You know, you always fight Metal Man first. You always get, recruit Jordan first because he's just <laughs> burning you. Look at this! He's the greatest player of all time. I mean, like, arguably, actually, I know that there's a. a you know, potential conversation to be had that, you know, LeBron James is in there as well, but like... And and possibly, you know, Wilt Chamberlain and etc, etc. Look, here's the thing, alright? Let me, let me give it to you straight. I don't watch basketball, but I do follow a lot of people on Twitter, so... I'm, I'm familiar with basketball-based conversations. One, he, he would have made it, dude. He would have made it. All right, we're up 36 to 12. That was a big, uh, that was a big quarter for us. Okay, I have 25 moves. What are you gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> you can't stop him. Anyway, what I was gonna say is the pixel art. It kind of reminds me of like, uh, like a Cappy game. You know, like uh, Super Time Force or Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery. In that, it it's like a modern take on a retro look. You know what I mean? My god. My god. I think he's getting tired, though. He's like... Yeah, tired from carrying the scrubs on his back, maybe. Stay on him. Stay... Look! Okay, you're going for it. You only got two moves, though. Look at that. You just wait him out. You, you let him try to get you to bite, but you don't bite. You pass it to Jordan. He takes it low. He literally just runs in. And they blocked Michael Jordan? Is the game broken? You're not supposed to be able to defend against MJ. Alright, all's forgiven. You pass it to Michael Jordan. He runs the isolation play, as in he's gonna isolate himself at the front and score a 540 single scoop to a have a raise. Then he's probably gonna pick this guy off, let's be honest. Probably just throw down for another dunk here, no problem. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, this team already seems pretty good. I feel like if you throw Larry Bird into the mix, it's gonna be real tough for, for the other uh, teams to 
compete here. That, that would be goaltending. You don't even want to block that one. Whoops. My mistake. I, I accidentally got introduced to a higher layer of strategy. I'm not sure I have the ability to understand. You got it, MJ. Look at that. He kind of bricked it, but that's okay. We're still crushing it. 48 to 16. No complaints. He's the shooting guard, right? He went 20 for 24 for 48 points. He literally shot... Well... He took 24 <clears throat> of 25 shots... And missed only four. <laughs> Wait. No, actually, he missed one? He missed zero? I don't know. Hold on. I do want to see what's up with quick play. So you can play two-player, but it's local, I believe. So you can take rosters from 2019. This is where I think if you're a big fan of uh, basketball, you will, you will be stoked. Because look at this. You got the last three years of rosters, 2019, 18, 17. And I think it's real. Like, you go to Toronto. I'm trying to... See. Look, my... Basketball knowledge is not that high, <clears throat> but surely one of these players is Kawhi Leonard. Who, who's the most recognizable basketball player? Probably LeBron James. Is he wearing a headband for LA West? LA California? No, that's got to be Golden State. There is no LA West in 2019. Oh, because it's only playoff teams. Rip. Okay, hold on. Anyway, I'm sure that it works. I just don't know what I'm looking at. All right. Uh, but uh, apart from that, you can also go back. Maybe, would I recognize Blake Griffin? Yeah, there he is in the power forward position, I think. All right. It's hard to tell, okay? There's not a lot of fidelity here. <clears throat> but you can also go back to 2008. You can go back to 2004. Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, other basketball players, I'm sure. 1998, who you, who, who you got in 1998? A little Carl Malone on Utah. Well, Michael Jordan still in the shooting guard position. 1995, 1991. Now we're getting back to the years that I would not know. Plus, you got story teams. Anyway. I just wanted to show that off for a second. There's also a season mode. Um, I think it's fair to say that uh, this is not a game that's going to appeal to everybody, but if you like this kind of retro sports aesthetic, and it, particularly I think if you're a fan of basketball, you would be interested in this, Like, I, which sounds self-evident. But I'm just trying to say, like, you know, a lot of people, I think they're like, I don't really get it. And I'm kind of one of those people. But I put myself in the shoes. If you made, like, a hockey classics and you had classic 8-bit to 16-bit NHL style gameplay plus you put in teams from like my childhood I would be like oh I totally get it now anyway it's a neat game it's cheap and uh, I like sports games I'm always up for more sports games especially uh, indie ones which you don't see all that often for now thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it you can check it out for yourself on Steam if you're interested there is a link in the video description below for now thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it if you did click the like button helps it a great deal and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future for now thanks for watching I'll see you next time see ya